my honest opinion of Grant Cardone. All right, so about probably a year ago, I saw a video. It might have been on sales. Maybe, yeah, that's what I want to do. I wanted to kind of just work on the sales aspect of it. So I knew he was good. A couple friends had his book. So first thing you do, I, I personally go on YouTube and I start watching. That's my interview process for me. He could care less. He doesn't know who I am. I interview, meaning that does this resonate with me? And then he had the whole Grant Cardone TV on the website and on YouTube, so I've subscribed. And he was putting out a show every single day. So the show had different topics every single day and I started watching it. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I mean, that's where I kind of got that whole like grieving the potential issue. He was talking about that someday and you know, to, to, a, to a degree, I was like, man, that's so right. I think when you're searching in life, it's the, it is the magic carpet ride, it's the unknowns, right? So I probably saw his video as the unknown. It broadsides me on the cheek. I watch it, it's connecting to a moment in my life that I really didn't need at that point, and it spoke to me. Then I started, so I enjoyed watching those videos. It was really great. He spoke from the hip, or shot from the hip, and spoke from it, basically. And just the fact that I, I was inspired by a daily show, really good content, had some great videos, huge social media presence, too. They really hammered it. So then I said, well, you know, I usually go to Amazon and get all their books, but I said, I'll just get one. Then I got the 10X rule, right? There it is right there. Read that, really, really enjoyed it. Then I went back on Amazon, and so then I got Do Not First, Your Last, Be Obsessed or Be Average, Sell or Be Sold, got his closures guide, um, got, got his uh, daily planners, got the hats, got this. No, I go all in, I go all in. In that moment in my life, and still today, I said, well, that's my coach. Yeah, I said, like, he's gonna be my coach. I got uh, Cardone University, I got it all. So I, I fully, I think full immersion is really great versus being a spectator. And he, see, he also said this too, I, I'm getting this from him. He said, you know, that the person that you see says, hey, I read 70 books a year. Because they're a spectator. Like, you're not absorbing any of that stuff. In fact, it's more of a distraction. And I used to kind of be like that. I was working on all these books and I wasn't great at any of the material. I just kind of dabbled in it. We're here, I said, you know what? You're right, so you go all in on one person. So I went all in with grand stuff, became a student, got the online, bought a couple things online as well. Uh, we trained our staff on the uh, Sell or Be Sold book, which was great. And we're gonna go into Be Obsessed or Be Average. It's really been great because of the mindset, how he thinks. And it, it probably peaked for me, right? Meaning that what I mean by peaked is now it's, I'm kind of transitioning out. I'm still reading his stuff, but for a good six months to almost a year, I was a definite student and learned a ton of stuff. So let's talk about the pros and cons. The pros, tons of content and information. You're not, you're not gonna, I mean, it's, that's why I literally put it in my calendar, reminders on my phone. One of my reminders was, did you listen to the Grant Show today? What well, was on real estate? I'm not in real estate, but guess what? I still listen to it because it might be on real estate, but he still says some wisdom and gold nuggets. And there was plenty of times where he might've been talking real estate, but it comes out with some good stuff that I need to hear that day. So I make sure I got to keep it in the rhythm, I schedule it. Am I listening, am I keeping up to date? You know, did I get the books? That's the books I'm reading. So it's great when you're watching them. It's like I'm going to class with them every single day. And that's why I always believe I don't need to talk to him for 10 minutes to an hour because there's nothing I'm gonna learn in one hour that I'm not gonna learn from all the books. His books literally are continuations of one another. And he said this right, he's like, you know, an author never finishes the book. So he writes a book, when he does the other book, it really is the continuing thoughts of the other one. They're almost like sequels, not on purpose, but you know, he's evolving. Uh, the cons. No, and he doesn't have any cons, but if I would say con, I would say uh, he's gonna always be hammering you. So if you don't like the emails saying, go to, go to his events and get this book, if you don't like that, you gotta understand, you can't like him and not like that because when he says, he's actually living what he says to do, right? So if it's never stopping or being obsessed or be average, like his, his marketing is obsessive, right? If his marketing was average, then he would be incongruent, right? So. I was about to say, I'm like, he, I was, I was going to say, like, his marketing is kind of obsessive. And I'm like, oh shit, that's really Grant. That's what he does. You know what, what I like about Grant? Why I use him or, or, or utilize it because I like feeling, I like people who stretch me and push me, right? So when you read Grant's stuff, you feel that you're not doing enough and you could do more. And that's a really nice place I want to be in. That I could just, I could just be better or I could be more obsessed. I could take a little bit more responsibility. It's a wonderful place to grow and so I appreciate that. So. As far as Grant Cardone, that's my two cents with Grant Cardone. You may or may not know me. If you don't know me, then uh, make sure you go to my YouTube channel and subscribe and check out the We Are Heroes show. And the We Are Heroes shows will give, will give you a really good insight on what I am. So you're like, who the hell is this guy saying this or that? Or what's he about? Just watch a couple of the We Are Heroes shows. I, I, I know it'll really connect with you. It'll probably speak to something in your heart. And you, it's behind the scenes. 
and you'll really know a lot more about me. If you like me, great, keep on watching, tell others. If not, just hit the unsubscribe. No big deal, I don't feel anything. Give it a try, but give him a while. For some of you, it might take a little bit of time for him to grow on you, but you'll absolutely be worth it. So that's what I have to say. There you go.